guys, this is Witty here and today I'm super happy because December is right here and Christmas is my favorite season of the year. I know that not all of you celebrate it, so happy holidays for all of you and in today's video I'm going to show you the first part of how to make this super cute rudolph sweater. The design is by Drops and the pattern is completely free. I put the link of it in the description box below, so I hope you like it and please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell button below. Let's go! We are going to need yarn in red, snow white, black, white, yellow, light brown and dark brown. Also circle needles in size 5mm in length. 40 and 80 centimeters and in size 4 millimeters also in length 40 and 80 centimeters a crochet hook size 4 millimeters a single needle scissors and a small pendant the back and the front pieces are made the same for casting the stitches you have to wrap your yarn like this this strand goes to the yarn ball and this one is the end Put your needle under the strand, turn it around, go through here, grab this strand and pull it through. Tighten the strand and cross this over. For the next stitches, just go through here, grab this strand cross it and pull the yarn. Do this until you finish casting. Now you have something like this. We're going to purl one row. To purl, put the yarn over the needle and pull it through the stitch. Like this. I always do the first ones with the two yarns to secure it and the rest just with the main yarn. it looks like this. This is the right side and this is the wrong right side. For a stockinette stitch you have to make one row in it and one in purl. For knit, just pull the yarn through the stitch. All the piece has an edge stitch at the beginning and at the end of the row, so knit the first and the last stitch in all rows. For increasing, pull your needle down the two strands and then cross the needle through them. Take out your finger and pull the yarn and that's it. Continue until we have to start with the pattern. And now it looks like this. This is how the edge stitch looks. This is the front pattern. The back one is the same but it doesn't have the paws neither the mouth in white. Be careful with the colors. The pattern is red right to left downwards to upwards like this. divided my dark brown yarn into balls. For adding any new color, just let go the yarn color that you are using and grab the new one like this. And continue knitting. I forgot it, but do the first two stitches with double yarn to secure it. Do 
After returning to the previous color, just drop this yarn and grab the last one. And don't tighten too much. And continue knitting. Do the same with the other dark brown ball. Continue with the pattern and adding all the stitches. Don't forget the edge stitches. And now it looks like this. For casting the edge stitches for the armhole, we are going to need the first two stitches. And then we are going to add the new stitches according to your size in each side of the row. Continue with the pattern without adding any more stitches until you reach 25 centimeters. Now we are going to increase the number of stitches according to your size, evenly on the row. Then change to circular needle size 4.5 mm and then we are going to work rib that it means we are going to make one edge stitch and then we are going to purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two, and the last one is going to be the edge stitch. Continue doing this until the rib measures six centimeters, and then we are going to close it. For closing it, we are going to knit over knit and purl over purl. So, knit the first stitch and then also knit the second stitch. And cross over the second stitch with the first stitch. Now we are going to knit the third stitch and cross it again. Purl the next stitch and repeat the process until you finish all the stitches. With the last stitch, just cut the yarn and pull it over. And you're done! Thank you for watching, guys! Bye!